Hi everyone, a lot of you uh, really loved my video where I explain how to do an HDR manual blending. That's a very good technique to get great results when you have the time to do the blending manually. That's not a technique that is fast, but that's a technique that gives you a great result and where you can really decide in which area you want to target. Now, if you are working uh, especially on real estate photography, usually you don't have the time or the budget to spend hours in one photo. So today I'm going to show you the technique I use for real estate project when I need to uh, edit several images in a short amount of time. So here I'm going to use a camera roll, but you can also use a uh, Lightroom. So let's jump inside of the software and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so here I am inside a folder where I have all my uh, photos that I shot um, in a real estate project. So I'm gonna choose a one. So here you can see I have one photo with different exposure. I am shooting on the HDR mode on my camera. So I'm just going to select uh, those photos. So here I have six different exposure as you can see. Um, so let's open them. So I am inside of other bridge and the only thing I have to do is to double click and it's going to open automatically inside of camera row because I mostly edit my photo with Photoshop and um, the way Photoshop opened raw images, this is through camera row. But everything I'm going to do here, this is exactly the same with Lightroom because camera row and Lightroom are actually um, pretty much the same software, but kinda with different name. So here I have opened my six photos and I'm going to uh, select all of them. And then I click right and do merge HDR. So I am clicking on that and it's going to open this window, merging HDR preview. And then it's showing me this. So here you can see all six images successfully merged. So that tells me that it took into consideration the six images I gave uh, the software. And then I'm gonna choose align images. I unchecked apply auto settings because I wanna do my own settings. And the ghost is uh, off uh, for those images. I'm going to merge. And then I need to save this new file that will be a .dng uh, somewhere. So here I am saving it inside uh, my YouTube uh, tutorial folder. So I save it. And here you can see I have a brand new image. So that is not the image that you want to use. At this point, your HDR is not done yet. So don't make this mistake. This is not because it's merged all together that uh, this is the image you need to use. So here what you are going to see is that once you are going to uh, do the development of your row to do uh, the settings you will have much more flexibility. So here I want to bump up uh, the exposure a bit because that's very dark and for the highlight so everything that is in the windows I don't want that much light so I'm going to go down and you can see that we can really bring back the details outside. So now I'm gonna uh, bring back the details in the shadows and go down with the exposure a bit so we bring back even more details in the windows. So just play around with your settings until you are happy with the results. So you can see this is uh, before and after, before and after. So after a camera merge all our photos uh, together, we had uh, something like this. And by uh, doing the settings, we are able to uh, bring back the details outside. So to see what's through the window and to uh, bring back the details in the shadows inside of uh, the room. Then I tend to desaturate uh, the blues in my image because I don't like to have blues refraction. And uh, yeah, then that depends who is your client, uh, what they want to decide what you do next uh, in your edit. So I'm going to show you another example with a Lightroom this time. So I open my six images. Uh, that's the same image with six different exposure. I add those six photos and then I select all of them. I click right and I go to photo merge, HDR merge. I click on it. So once again, uh, this is the exact same setting. So I click on auto align. 
I unchecked apply auto settings because I want to do it myself and create stack is checked and then I'm just waiting for the preview. I click on merge. Now it's currently uh, merging my photo uh, together. So here is my HDR image. I'm going to double click on it uh, to do the settings. So I want uh, to see uh, what's outside. So I'm going to go down uh, with uh, the highlight. Then I'm going to go up with the shadows to emphasize the inside of uh, our room. Okay, I'm gonna bump up the exposure a little bit. Go down once again. Uh, with the highlight so we can really see what's outside um, yeah I'm gonna add a bit of contrast because by um, taking down the highlight and taking up the shadows we are losing a bit of contrast so I'm going to bring this um, not too much around 10 and you can see before and after before and after that's pretty fast and in most cases for real estate project that'll be okay of course here the editing is not done depending of our client and what uh, exactly wants, we would have to do some more adjustment. But here is the way to merge quickly HDR image together. I hope that you liked this video and that you learned something today. If it's the case, please push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to don't miss the next video. I see you in the next one.